Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts, and it is Friday, April 14th, and I'm coming live to share with you a really adorable stamp set that is going to be available in the new annual Stampin' Up! catalog, which I actually have. But I can't show you the inside yet. But if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you will be receiving one from Stampin' Up! These are actually ones that I ordered. I haven't received my complimentary copy yet. Hey, Pat! You're going to love this set! But there are many, many beautiful new things and some things that are carrying over into this new catalog. So, the set I'm going to show you today is so so cute with so many fun parts it reminds me of the one last year the little gardening one with the gloves and all the gardening tools so returning items that i'm using deckled rectangles and stylish shapes so i'll be using these two but they are both returning in they're currently in the catalog and they're returning or they're moving over into the new catalog thankfully because i use this one a lot i actually have two sets of this one for when I'm doing card class prep. But the one we're going to be working with today is called Crafting With You. And it's just so adorable. If you know anyone that crafts, knits or sews, paints, and Pat, I know you know someone who paints, this is the perfect set to make cards with. So it has the images in the stamp set, and then it also has coordinating dies that are amazing. So they coordinate with the stamps and the um, there's some other elements as well. What does the large square die measure? Oh, yeah, okay, let me check. So the large square die is Grab my ruler. Just shy of three inches, so it's a three inch square. Okay, the other one we're going to use is another new set called Beautiful Balloons, and we're going to be using this piece, which is really, really fun, and it can be used as a piece of ribbon, or today I'm going to use it as um, just a border piece. You'll see what I mean. And when we get to that card, which we'll do now, I guess, I'll show you the trick that I used for cutting it. So it does cut, so it can be a ribbon, if anyone remembers those scalloped scissors we used to have. So you can do that. And if you're going to do that, you would lay it so that it's not quite at the edge of the die so that you have a fringed edge. The way I did it, and don't look at this one because this is my one that didn't work very well, You ha I c measured it and cut a piece that is, so the die itself is just shy of an inch, seven eighths I'd say, and I did a piece that was an inch and an eighth. But I didn't um, tack it down so it moved and it went crooked. But then I realized it was the wrong color of blue anyway, so it didn't matter. The one I'm using is Pool Party. So that's the trick. And then, so the way I did it, I didn't have either of the edges, edges hanging over, so it didn't fringe it. But it will fringe it if you have one side hanging over. Okay, so let's do that card first. So here's all my little pieces I was playing with. This set is just so fun. The papers we're using today, Suttles 6x6 Designer Series Paper. This is the new paper, so it's got the new patterns. And I'll just show you what the patterns are. So this is the Suttles. So we have these little lines, I don't know what you call them. Little hearts, large dots, 
and big stripes. So those are the four patterns and of course you'll be able to get this paper pack in subtles, neutrals, brights, in colors from this year and in colors from last year. The other paper I'm using is from the balloon set, Bright and Beautiful. I'm not going to show you all the patterns because it does have 12 different patterns. I'll just fan through it so you can see how nice and bright it is. And it's got the ombre papers. It's really fun. I've used it on several different cards um, for several, several different purposes. So that's a really fun, oh, losing stuff. That's a fun paper. Okay, so let's start with this one. You can see all my little pieces here. So I've got a white base, just a regular eight and a half by 11. I don't use the Thick Whisper White for my card bases because once I've added all the layers, I find it's heavy enough. I find the, the thick one a little bit too thick for my liking. Then I have a two inch by five and a quarter of Pool Party, and then a two inch by five and a quarter of Pool Party. Same pattern, same package, just different pattern. And when you do it two inches, um, because it's a six by six, then you get lots of pieces from one part. And then I have my little piece. Now it is quite a bit longer than, I wonder how long it actually is. So it is longer than a card. It's six inches. We don't have any six inch cards. So what you have to do is take it, let's pretend this is a nice one, and then look at your piece, and then go down and decide where it ends, and then just cut, I use scissors, just cut in where the slit already is to either side to get it the right side, the right length. So that's what I've gone ahead and done. We don't need these meeting up in the middle because this is going to go over the top. I just thought it looked really pretty. It's a good alternative to ribbon. Let's see if my glue is going to cooperate. It never does when I'm doing Facebook Live. Let's try this one. It was just working at my desk. Okay, so we'll put this one down. And the coordinating one, either one would be cute, but we're gonna have a lot of busyness on the front with all the stuff. So let's just keep it simple. And I'm just going to put glue down the edges because I'm afraid if I put glue here it's going to seep through. So I'm just going to put a little bit down the edge. Try to center that and use this line as a guide. Okay, there we go. That's the one that's better. Next I have Stylish Shapes Circle, and wait till you see this, this is going to blow your mind. So this is the little paper trimmer, and here's my piece of paper, and it actually goes into the paper trimmer. Whoever designs these must, must just have so much fun. Isn't that hilarious? Oh my gosh, I think that's so cute. Just gonna put a little bit of glue This makes this whole set worthwhile. It's so fun. And it even has the little cutting blade. I'm going to use a stamp in dot for this. So the little blade that you push up and down, you can put two on if you want, but I'm not getting that carried away. So we'll just pretend we're cutting. And it even has a little line so you know exactly where to put it. You probably can't see that, but 
it's hilarious. So my idea for this card is I'm going to have my paper trimmer. It also has dies for little hearts, so I might add, I will add those in a minute. And it's got dies for a ruler. I think I might use the silver one. And then the scissors. So for the scissors, whatever color you want the hand, you're going to have to cut die cut it twice. But I'll show you what I did. So I'm going to have crushed curry scissors. So I did it in crushed curry. And then I did smoky slate for this one. My other scissors are at my other desk. Then you cut it off. You can actually see a little line. So you cut it off where the little line is. And then save these pieces because you can use them. So then you get on my little pieces here and you want to make sure that well, I probably should have done that a little more carefully that you have the right piece on the right side so I believe this is this one no it's that one they do have a little bit of an angle on the bottom blade okay so that's the way they go so just a little dot of glue and lay these back on and then just take with your fingers because it's white glue I would suggest white glue you can move them because that wasn't exactly perfect there we go and then you take your large one and put it over top of the smaller one and I think I'm going to use a glue dot. I used glue before but it just seeps through the hole which makes sense. So let's put a glue dot. I'm going to fold it in half and I don't, so you can decide how wide open you want your scissors as well. So I'm going to have these ones not really wide open. Oh yeah, you can use a brad, except a quicker way is just to use one of these. It's a really small hole, so you might mess it up with a brad. But look at that. Oh, I just think it's so stinking cute. Okay, so let's get rid of this. We'll pull our card back in. So now we have our little paper trimmer, our scissors, and our heart. Maybe this little heart right by the sentiment, if I can get it. And then our ruler. Not sure we need the ruler, but it's so cute. Maybe we'll put it over here with a little heart beside it. So when you're playing with this set, it's just fun. And I do believe there are brads in the catalog, so you could definitely use a brad. Okay, so let's put this on. Let's pop this up. Or, no, let's put this down and pop up the vellum. So, like that. that. <gasps> oh. And now we'll flip this over and add some dimensionals just where the pieces are. I just think this is so cute. Even the sentiment sending you 
a handmade hug is really sweet. Okay, so there's our first card. Sending you a handmade hug. Now I've got both glues on the go. So with your scissors, if you save your pieces, then you can put it together um, so you just have a top, the top of your scissors and you might want to put it in a little basket or something, which I think would be cute. Okay, on to the next one. So we have basic white. I'm introducing you to a new color called bubble bath. Pretty sure it's bubble bath. Yes, bubble bath. And one of the returning colors is fresh freesia. Freesia. So the paper I'm gonna use has a little bit of fresh freesia and bubble bath. You can see there the ombre side, but I don't want to use that. I'm going to use the stripes. And then this one was <clears throat> left over from a card I did the other day. So I know that's kind of overkill <coughs> on the designer series paper, but it's sitting right here calling out wanting to be used. And it pulls in all of these colors, so I think it's really pretty. Okay, so for this one we're using deckled rectangles. And then the deckled rectangles in white. Life is better when you're crafting. Uh-huh, yes it is. Let's go ahead and put that on. I do love anything creative. So other elements that we have in this set, there's a little knit, little, um, all the different balls of yarn, a little basket. So for these scissors, some the scale on them is not exactly ideal, like these scissors are bigger than the basket, so maybe not use it on that basket. There is a different basket, but I still think the scale is a bit off. But you could have this... I don't know, I just didn't want to waste it. Something like that. That would be cute. Let's just leave that there for a second. Then you have these adorable little spools. And with the spools, there's another die that cuts out the threads. Isn't that hilarious? Whoever thought of this is brilliant. And what I like about these dies is they come in twos. So you can die cut two at a time, two of the threads and two of the spools. You could really get carried away with this. So I might just leave those scissors up there. Or let's, we'll see. So I was going to have a basket of yarn. I think I was going to make different scissors because I want them kind of down in this corner. So let's just slide this over. There's buttons, and I did cut out some of the buttons with designer series paper. And then I did scissors with our foil. This is the specialty foil, and I can't even tell you if it's carrying over. I don't even remember. If it's carrying over to the new catalog. But we're going to use just the bottoms, and I'm going to use this for the top. Um, no, I'm doing it wrong. I want to cut off these. So we have this and this. So we'll see which we like better, with the silver or with just the smoky slate cardstock. These are definitely brighter. I think I just got a Stampin' Up! delivery. There we go. And this one. Definitely want to use white glue when you're putting all these little bits and pieces together. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll get a glue dot.
um, squish it in half. So I don't want these ones opened up too much. I did have a pair of blue ones, but they're open a little bit further than I want. So let's go like that. And then a brushed metallic dot and we're good to go. Okay. Although the other ones looked cute hanging in the top, I do want them I do want it more down here. So we're going to have our yarn in the basket. Down here. And let's pop that up. The details are amazing. Like amazing. Then I've gone ahead and added some different colored yarn to the little spools. And let's put a little button. When you look up close, even the detail on the button, it's got a little rib ridge around the edge. I just think if you're a designer, this would be just so fun. I don't think I want it over a little bit more. All right, and now our scissors down here. Like, if you got this card in the mail, you'd be seriously in awe, I think. Just, especially if you are a crafter, you'd be looking at everything just to see how everything was created. Here's another button. So I cut some of the buttons out of designer series paper and some of them, did I do any of cardstock? I don't think so. And let's just put a little heart here. Oopsie. There we go. With the white glue, you can move things around once you put it on. There we go. This is so cute. I know, right, Pat? Like if you got if you opened up your envelope and this was in it, it would be like, oh my gosh. And then you'd be trying to figure out how they made everything. And the stamp set and the dies make it so easy for this to be amazing. Life is better when you're crafting. And if you're watching this video, you probably believe that. I certainly do love crafting. And you could add the little ruler here, but I think it's got enough on it. So we'll save all these little bits and bobs for later. Even the detail in the ribbon, in this, in the spool of thread, and the in the thread is just amazing. So these products will be available to customers on May the second. So this is a little teaser. And if you're one of my regular customers and you're looking for a catalog, just let me know. If you rec recently purchased from me, I will be sending you one. But you'll definitely want to get this in your set called Crafting With You Dies. Next time we'll try the easel and there's a stamp apparatus, a sewing machine. Just so many fun things. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it if you like and share my video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you will know every time I've uploaded a new video. Okay. Have a great weekend. It's beautiful here in Ottawa. It's summer. We missed spring, but I think spring's coming back next week. So I hope the weather is nice wherever you are and hopefully you're not in one of the areas that's being flooded right now. Um, so st stay safe, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.